Manchester City stretched their English record-breaking winning run to 16 league games with another dazzling display of fabulous football. At full time they had extended their lead at the top of the table to 11 points to pile more pressure on arch-rivals Manchester United, ahead of their early evening kickoff at Old Trafford. Pep Guardiola's side have now clocked up two dozen games unbeaten in all competitions since losing to Arsenal in last season's FA Cup semi-final in April. This time it was Gabriel Jesus and Kevin De Bruyne who put Leicester to the sword with a goal either side of halftime. It was a huge contrast to last season City were well and truly spanked here as the Foxes haired into a 3-0 lead after 20 minutes. Pep Guardiola stubbornly insisted on playing a high defensive line and Jamie Vardy had a field day with half a pitch of space to run into. Interactive stats click on the categories to find out how the teams fared the final 4-2 scoreline flattered City, who made it look vaguely respectable with two late consolations. Yet despite that spanking the visitors were almost suckered inside two minutes thanks to some more kamikaze defending. Vincent Kompany desperately sent Vardy crashing as the England striker threatened to burst clear. The Foxes fans screamed for a red card, but ref Graham Scott judged Kyle Walker could have got back and let the real live Belgian defender off with a booking. It was an early warning, though and City were clearly much happier going forward, rather than bothering with the boring stuff further back. They almost took the lead after 21 minutes with a sane shot which was brilliantly turned over by Schmeichel. Then Saint turned provider, but Sterling couldn't get on the end of the German's flashing cross as he dived full length and ended up in the net himself, while the ball somehow stayed out. City suffered a huge setback when John Stones was forced off after half an hour after suffering a painful hamstring injury. However the runaway league leaders were not similarly hamstring and broke the deadlock on the stroke of halftime with a goal of breathtaking quality. Raheem orchestrated a slick 13-pass move as the ball pinged around the pitch at breakneck speed. Eventually, after a 1-2 with De Bruyne, Sterling went wide to David Silva who squared to leave Gabriel Jesus with the simplest of tap-ins. It was a magical goal, but City's defence vanished again at the start of the second half. Interactive line UPS click on a player's number below to see their stats, however they survived a couple of scares, especially when Harry Maguire smacked the post with Ederson beaten. However from that game-changing moment City pounced on the counter-attack and cut through Leicester like a knife to go 2-0 up. Fernandinho sent De Bruyne clear and the Belgian pushed the ball wide to Sane before collecting it back at the edge of the box. The finish matched the speed and quality of the break as De Bruyne arrowed a ferocious shot high into the roof of Schmeichel's net from 18 yards to leave Leicester gasping 
and City sitting prettier than ever at the top of the table. Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola, speaking to MOTD, the international break is always complicated, especially if you play away. It is complicated to defend against Leicester, but we did really well. We did not concede one chance in 90 minutes. We missed the last pass, the last action, but we arrived with lots of players attacking the back four.